All right, welcome to a biology mini lesson. Today we'll be looking at the iodine test for starch. So iodine, as we've used in class before, is an indicator. Um, and iodine, uh, when mixed with starch, can and indicate the presence of starch. So iodine is a test for starch. If you think back to starch, starch is a carbohydrate found mainly in plant cells. And it's a stored form of glucose. So glucose is chained up into these long starch molecules and um, the plants store them and then you eat them when you buy vegetables from the grocery like uh, potatoes. So iodine, which is a amber color liquid, I'll pull it up right here, All right here on the right, the amber color liquid here is iodine. When it's a negative test for starch, it retains its iodine, its uh, amber color. So there's the gold iodine right here. Uh, when iodine is mixed with starch, or starch solution, or dropped out of potato, or maybe uh, some, some corn chips with corn starch in it, it turns black, this purple black color. So a positive test is purple black. So positive is purple black color. And a negative is the amber color, stays amber. Now. This is important for us. We use it in the osmosis and diffusion lab, but uh, also it's important in. And I'll bring this up here. I guess I have to erase to get that up. This is a picture of a person's arm. So what's been done here is this person suffers from hypohydrosis, which is uh, excessive sweating. So this person in this area, I can't tell if this is the armpit, maybe the armpit or the uh, the nape of the. I can't tell anyway, but anyway, this person suffers from excess sweating, and uh, what they've done is they treat it with Botox. And if you remember Botox from popular media, it's what they used to, to to tighten up people's faces. So basically, Botox is a poison made by a bacteria. It's botulism toxin, and it 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 paralyzes. It stops the nerves from firing. And when you do that to someone's face, it makes them look pretty because it makes the 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 muscles tense up and and there's no wrinkles. Uh, but when you when you use it in somebody's arm, you can stop it from sweating. Um, and to test the, the areas where the person's sweating a lot, what they do is they, they rub iodine on it. You can see this orange circle right here. Um, and then they let it dry. Yeah, and then the areas where the person's sweating excessively get wet again. And then they throw starch on it, and where it turns black is where the starch, the water, and the, and, and the iodine all mix, and, and you get that positive starch test. Uh, you wouldn't get the positive starch test in the areas that are dry. You can see up here to the top. Over here, there's white in the areas that are dry because you need that water to help, to help that, that positive starch just come out. So just a little aside and uh, just remember, positive iodine test is black, negative is the amber gold color.